Hello guys, and welcome to our very, very late reviewish of Star Wars Rogue One. Uh, this will be a bit more quicker, because as you can see, I'm in a garage and I don't really have time. I'm probably not even going to edit this video. But, uh, I know that there are, like, some of you, at least one or two of you, that want to hear my opinions of Star Wars Rogue One. Because I am a huge Star Wars fan and I do like these movies, so... Uh, so, I, you know, I missed my spot, I missed my chance to do uh, a review, which I felt like, you know, it's been too long now. I actually saw it on, like, the 14th on the premiere, but then I didn't have time to make the video then, and then I moved and all that, so I, I just didn't have time. Uh, and then now I feel like it's a bit too late, but I'm still gonna make this video just to quickly talk, you know, about my feelings towards the movie. This will be spoiler-filled already from the beginning, it's been a while, you've already all seen the movie, so who cares, you know, uh, it's stars. Um, so... I really, really like this new Star Wars movie. It's one of my favorite Star Wars movies. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and it's mostly because of, like, the second half. Because the first half of the movie was a bit too formulaic for me. They introduced a lot of the a lot of characters. And for me, uh, personally, they felt like very one note. You know, here's the pilot, he's a pilot, here's this dude, he's this dude. And um, at the beginning of just purely watching the movie, I felt like, oh, well, these characters, they don't really have that much depth. But then, of course, you know, watching it a second time, actually, I'm gonna see it a third time. Uh, watching it a second time, you know, and hearing the dialogue a bit more and concentrating a bit more on the dialogue, you get, you know, like, oh, there is a huge depth to all of these characters, but... You know, this movie, does, this movie doesn't really have time to explain all of that, um, which is a bit unfortunate. But yeah, a lot of characters introduced in the beginning, um, a bit confusing for me. Um, I like like I liked the second half a lot more now during my second uh, viewing of the movie. But during my first half, my first time of watching the movie, I felt, you know, like the beginning and uh, all of that was a bit... Uh, um, I liked uh, Jyn Erso and... Um, but I didn't really want to get like too attached to, to these characters because I I thought well these characters are going to die. Uh, that's also what halted like my uh, like excitement a bit like when I was watching the movie because I thought you know Disney you better not fuck this up because I really really want these characters to die not because I don't like them but because they should die and the fact that they all die. At the end, I really, really liked it because I was, I was afraid that they weren't gonna do that. I was just like, oh, don't let them live, don't let the fucking ship come down and save them. But it doesn't. They die, <sighs> which I, uh, which sounds a bit morbid, but I really, really liked that they did that. Um, especially in like a huge blockbuster movie like this, you don't really kill off all of your main cast. So yeah. I liked it. I really give Rogue One props to that. And then, of course, you know, the Vader scenes and stuff. I really, really liked that. You know, the Vader scenes was probably the best scene in the movie. I know, like, they, they hyped this movie up by saying, oh, there's no lightsabers, there's nothing like that. But then, like, the, the best part of the movie for me was when Vader was cutting dudes down. That was fucking amazing. Um, another part that I really, really liked in Rogue One was all, all of these strikes. Like, I... The, the fact that... Uh, what am I trying to say? Yeah, the fact that, the, like, the kyber crystals and all that, you know, uh, fucking powering the Death Star, the Death Star laser beams are basically lightsabers, you know? That was really awesome, because I, I don't, I can't remember a time where I've heard, like, you know, like, kyber crystals in a Star Wars movie. I can't remember me ever hearing that. So hearing kyber crystals, a lot of kyber crystals all over the place, you know, the kyber crystals are the thing that fuels the lightsaber, which they explain in the movie, so I really like that addition. The fucking hammerhead... Um, Corvettes, cruisers, I don't really remember to be honest, but the Hammerhead ships was, were in this, and the hammer ships were in Clone Rebels. They were in Rebels, like, uh, the Rebels guys, the animated series, they got, like, the Hammerheads or something. That's really awesome, you know, because it's really, really canon. Plus, you can actually see Chopper, which is the droid in Rebels, you can see him running around Javan 4, and then you can actually see the ghost when all the Rebels show up. You know, all of the easter eggs like that is just, like, it's fucking awesome. That's what I really, really like about this movie. And it's something that, you know, normal, casual f people going into the movie, they won't really appreciate. So, I am I definitely have a bit of a bias towards this movie, just because I really, really like all of the shit that they put in this movie. It's, it's really, it's like a fan film. It's like the most expensive fan film ever. Uh, which, I mean, it is, because all of these creators and stuff who are making this movie, they were children when they watch Star Wars, so basically it is fan films, but it's really, really good fan films, and, um, so yeah, that's basically my opinion, like, if I wasn't a biased person, if I was just thinking about this movie from a movie perspective, I would probably give this a 7.5 out of 10, but 
because of all the Star Wars stuff and because, you know, it, because of how Star Wars it is, I will give it like an 8.5, uh, maybe even a 9, purely because of my enjoyment of this second and final act, which is like, ah, <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so what did you think about uh, Star Wars? Uh, Rogue One. No, it's not called Star Wars Rogue One. It's Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Um, yeah, the no opening crawl thing at the beginning. I knew that was going to happen because people have already talked about that. But I really, really liked it. And because uh, it was a bit jarring, you know, just like a... Bah! And then Rogue One. And then the music was different as well. Uh, the music was a bit for forgettable to me. But I, I heard that, like, the music composer, he only got, like, four weeks or something to make the music, so I'm gonna cut him some slack, and, uh, but, yeah, that's, that, that's it for me right now, I really, really liked it, Star Wars, haha, and, uh, what did you think about Star Wars Rogue One, what did you think about Rogue One, a Star Wars story, <laughs> did you like it, did you not like it, tell me why, in the comments, because I would really like to hear your opinions about it, because that would be really, really fun, uh, I'm gonna go now, though, so, hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys, and whenever I see you guys, it'll probably be a bit more vloggish, so, you're definitely gonna see more of this angle. Uh, goodbye, Star Wars. Uh.